Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. In today's video, we will be doing day nine of the 30 day yoga reset challenge. Day nine is all about your inner dialogue. So inner dialogue basically is just the racing thoughts that we all tend to have throughout the day, throughout our lives. These thoughts can be distracting and they can cause us to lack productivity and all kinds of things. So today's class is all about allowing your inner dialogue to just pass through you and not really worrying about it. Your inner dialogue is not fact. It is just a thought that's coming through your mind. So this class is all about acknowledging that and allowing those thoughts to just move through you without distracting you from your goals. Before we get started, if you aren't subscribed yet to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe here and I would love to have you as a part of this growing community on YouTube. If you would like access to all 30 days, all 30 classes for this 30 day yoga reset challenge without intros and outros, without YouTube ads, and with the ability to practice without needing an internet connection by watching on your phone, your tablet, or your TV, then definitely check out my membership site called My Yoga Habit. It's a great way to build a yoga habit in your life and you can practice the entire 30-day challenge for free because I'm offering throughout the month of September a 30-day free trial. So anytime you join throughout the month, you can get 30 days from that date completely free to try out any of the content that's available on that site. So if you would like to try it out, join My Yoga Habit and click the link provided in the description box below and on the screen in the card section of this video. So if you're ready, Grab your yoga mat and let's get started. So I'm going to sit on a folded yoga blanket. I'm going to fold my blanket in this short rectangle. And then I'm going to sit right at the rounded edge. So sitting my sits bones right at the rounded edge of the yoga blanket to promote the forward tilt of my pelvis so I don't overly round my low back as I'm sitting down. Once I'm settled on the blanket, cross the legs, flex your feet under your knees, bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall, close your eyes, sit up tall, Begin to deepen your breath. As I mentioned in day six for the stress management day, managing your stress, a great way to combat the inner dialogue. So all of the thoughts that pass through our heads in our minds throughout the day constantly, a great way to manage that is being able to zero in and focus and quiet the mind a little bit. Definitely won't last for long, but the more we practice, the better we will get at it. So as we're sitting here, begin to focus on the breath. As much as you can, focus on the inhales, the exhales, the way the breath feels as it moves in and out through your body where it goes, where it travels to and from. Just notice those things and sit here and observe. And slowly come to open your eyes. 
and you can remain here. You could sit on your heels even if you would like to. I'm going to remain here in easy pose. Take your right hand and place it on your low belly and you can leave your left hand on your leg. We're going to practice something called Kapalabhati, also known as uh, breath of fire. This is a yogic breathing or pranayama technique or pranayama, however you choose to pronounce it. We're going to be doing two pranayama techniques throughout this class, just helping the mind to focus on the breath a little bit better, uh, building some energy and heat in the body and just quieting the mind and fo refocusing, recentering the mind and kind of drawing the attention away from those thoughts, those inner dialogue thoughts that we have all the time throughout the day. So your hand is on your lower abdominals. You can close your eyes and we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose and then release out the breath in short spurts. So I will demonstrate and listen closely to my breathing. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in. So that was just an example. What I have done was I was releasing air in short spurts out through my nose. And in doing that, I was pushing my hand away, the hand that is resting on my lower abdominals, I was pushing it away with my lower belly. So my abdominals, as I would release out, would push my hand forward and then it would come back in as I took that very short inhale in order to release the breath out quickly once again. So it's very short spurts. I'll demonstrate again, listen. What we're going to do for this practice is do this 25 to 30 times. So we'll take a really deep breath in to start and then we'll exhale with that very short spurt of breath for about 25 to 30 times, depending on how you feel or what you feel comfortable with. Now you might want to pause the video quickly and grab a tissue or something that you um, can wipe your nose with a little bit uh, gross I guess <laughs> I apologize but you might find that since you're exhaling so vigorously out through your nose that some stuff might want to come out maybe take a moment now and, and grab that tissue so once you're ready sitting comfortably take your hand place it on your lower abdominals rest your opposite hand on your legs and close your eyes we'll begin so take a deep breath in and then rapidly breathe out through the nose for 25 to 30 times. Slowly come to stillness. Observe how your body feels here. Just notice the difference in how you're feeling now. And slowly release your hand down. You can rest it on your leg. Come to open your eyes. And we're going to switch legs. So switch the crossing of your legs crossing the opposite leg in front for symmetry in the body. And from here, we're going to take another pranayama technique called alternate nostril breathing. I have done this several times on this channel already, so you might be familiar. If not, I'll walk you through it. So keep your left hand on your leg. You can just leave it here or you can place it in sin mudra we did this the other day we did this the other day um, just placing the index and thumb to meet palm facing up and the other three fingers are out so it's up to you this might be too confusing so you might just want to leave it down it's up to you but now we're going to take the right hand 
and take the index, middle, and ring fingers and place them in towards your palm, leaving the pinky and the thumb out. Now from here, we're going to turn and face the fingers or the palm towards the face. And the right thumb is for the right nostril. The right pinky is for the left nostril. So we're going to do alternate nostril breathing. In through one nostril and out through the other, alternating. So to start, place your thumb on your right nostril and take an inhale through your left nostril. From here, place your pinky on the left nostril and remove the thumb from the right nostril. And then you're going to release the breath through the right nostril. Once again, you might need some tissues, but in through one nostril, switch the fingers, release the opposite one, Exhale through the opposite nostril. Then to repeat, inhale through that one, block it up, exhale through the opposite one. So you can observe for a moment as I show you, and then join me when you're ready. Ready and inhale.
slowly come to stillness, complete your cycle. Come to stillness here. You can place both of your hands in Sin Mudra for a moment. Fingertips, index fingers to meet the thumb, palms facing up. Quiet the mind for a moment. Breathe naturally. And as we're here, we're going to practice focusing on silence once again. You can imagine a blank space in front of you. Focus on the space behind your eyelids, in the center of your forehead, or just an image of a white background black background, blank space, and practice, just practice, focusing on blank, nothingness. Now in this practice, it's not perfect. So we may come across thoughts that come in and out through the mind as we sit here. However, once we acknowledge and notice that that thought has shown up for us, be kind to yourself, gently set the thought to the side, drifting it away, and come back to focusing on the blank space that you created in your mind. And as many times as you need to do that, that is totally fine. Just remain here and do the best that you can. Release your hands. Take one more deep breath in through the nose. And release it out. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, please take two seconds and hit that like button down below the video, giving it a thumbs up. It really would help to support the channel by telling YouTube to share it with more people. So it would mean a lot to me if you gave it a thumbs up, shared it with your friends, commented below the video, letting me know how you're doing, how you're liking everything so far, how you're liking this challenge. I always love to hear from you. I always reply to your comments. So leave me a comment below as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. It is free to subscribe here on YouTube and I would love to have you as a part of this growing community, so please join us. For even more yoga resources from me, check out my website, kristayoga.com and don't forget to also follow me over on Instagram at kristayoga for yoga, motivation, and inspiration behind the scenes of this channel, so much more. All of the links to everything that I mentioned and more are listed in the description box below. Thank you so much. See you next time.